So today we're going to talk about re recursion. Now, you might be wondering, what is recursion? Well, recursion is just a function when it a function that calls itself. And logically, this would lead, lead you to believe that if it, if it calls itself, that means that it would have an infinite loop. But the reason why it's not an infinite loop is the reason we can make it not an infinite loop is by adding a base case. So let's say, for example, we have this function called factorial and we want to multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, to get out of the loop, we want, it would be intuitive to say that when once we get 1, to exit out of the loop. But if it's, since we want the, the function to be able to work for 0, for example, 0 factorial is 1, we should make the condition x equals equal to 0. So here, we're gonna make this x equals equal to zero because when x equals zero, that's when we want to exit the loop. Now, you might be thinking that five times four times three times two times one times zero will give you always give you zero, but it's not giving you zero. It's giving you zero factorial, which is one. So, and here's why: when you pass in zero, um, this if statement will will be true, and therefore it will run the if statement. And here, we just want to re return one. So. This wouldn't always give you zero because uh, when, once, it, when, once it does reach zero, it returns one and not zero, so it wouldn't ever multiply by zero. So until that base case is reached, we want to just repeat the function over and over again so that it multiplies by the appropriate amount. So here, here is where we want to get to call itself, and we, we do that by writing this code here. So obviously, we will write the function name, but we want to we want it to multiply by the previous numbers and not just call other functions. So that means that we have to do x times a previous number. So for here it'll be x factorial x times the factorial and then x x x minus one. And the reason why it's x minus one is if you pass in three and you want to get three factorial and you pass in three for here, you, you want to do three times two times one times times zero. But you don't if you do if you don't do x minus one then for example let's say you just did x here, well then it would just do three times three again, which is not what you want. You want it to it did decrease by one each time. So that's why you want to do x minus one. Um, let's see what this actually looks like in memory. So what what, what the function is doing is you have a, a stack called factorial and then here's when you pass in say two. So when you pass in two it's gonna, it's, this if statement won't, won't be true, so it will go down, down to the else statement, and else statement says make another function, and then so on and so forth. Right. So now, when, when, once you reach zero, uh, this base case would be true, and then you just wanna return one. So here, this returns one, so then one once the function returns, it gets rid of it, and now, it returns one. So now it returns one times what this would give you, and then, well, one times one is one. So then this would just get also get destroyed, and then you have the one times two. So one times two is obviously two. So then this would get destroyed, and then you would return two for the you would return two if you pass in two, which is the the correct uh, answer that you want. 